the structure of it has always been something of a puzzle to people. Whose story is it, Antony or Cleopatra's? Peter Brook talks a lot about plays having traps. <laughs> he says that, uh, that, plays, that most plays have a, have a pitfall um, and that you can fall into them. And I think that one of the strange traps of Antony and Cleopatra is dividing the name, breaking the name Antony or, and or Cleopatra, making the story about one or the other. Um, for us, and I think for most of the audience, the interesting part will be that it is equally their, sto their story about their uh, love affair and their attempt to maintain some type of love and familial bond um, within this world that is splitting apart between new and old, that's separating as they speak. What ultimately tears them apart is that both of them are from um, from a world that can't sustain each other. They cannot sustain the arc of the world together. And that trajectory is important for the audience to feel. The main focus was that we created a piece that could ignite interest and a sort of reawakening of the love affair between Antony and Cleopatra. And so I tried to find a place that could house that influence. And the Caribbean, during its early colony days, became the most fecund ground for that. We wanted to make sure that we had, um, we had a cast that was color conscious, that instantly when you saw Cleopatra and Antony um, standing in the garb that they're standing in, uh, speaking in the languages that they're speaking in, you could be put into a social historical context immediately. And the parallels that we found within the research that we were doing were incredible. The, ideology of an empire being built by Octavian Caesar and his reign throughout Rome and his grip and, and struggle for power to gain power to sort of take over the world is very similar to what Napoleon was doing at the time. Just the one-to-one -one matching of personalities and names but also the ideology that a, another colony far away with, with almost a um, night and day way of thinking were coming into a clash for freedom.